Stocks are a little changed with the S&P on pace to snap. A, well, it looks like it could make a six-week win streak. We'll see how today shakes out. After this morning's jobs report, former Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren did weigh in on what the jobs data means for the market. Take a listen. From the market's perspective, it's probably a bit stronger than they were hoping for. Uh, embedded in the bond pricing right now is some pretty significant rate cuts over the course of next year. I'd be very surprised if those are ratified if we continue to get the kind of data that this report shows. Mm, so he's saying maybe not so fast on those rate cuts. For more on what today's jobs data means for the Fed and for the markets going forward, let's bring in Dryden Pence, Chief Investment Officer with Pence Capital Management, and Michael Santoli, our senior markets commentator here on set with us. Welcome to both of you. Dryden, what do you think? You have to worry now about the Fed staying in the picture? Well, I think that, I think we're of the opinion that it's really kind of switched from, you know, higher to longer to how low, how fast. And we think that probably the Fed is only going to maybe do one or two cuts next year. And that we think that we're going to be in this higher regime. If the market is pricing in five or six cuts, I think they're going to be wildly disappointed. I think it's going to be maybe one, maybe two, uh, because the economy is still quite strong. And uh, we think that that's going to be the dynamic that's going to be surprising people. OK. Michael, what would you add to that? Because we see the market not necessarily coming around to Dryden's take yet, but Chair Powell will have a big opportunity next week to either say, no, we really are going to be higher for longer right. or not, as he's been hinting more recently. Yeah, or maybe he just, you know, uses the opportunity to say we have a balance in policy. We see balanced risk between inflation and, uh, and uh, you know, potential weakening growth. To me, it's about which market we're talking about counting on and needing rate cuts. Hmm. To me, the stock market right now is not at this level because it's a assuming we get 100 or 150 basis points of cuts next year. Really? It's because we have peak Fed, peak yields, peak oil, and all those things that suggest we have a little more of a sustainable moment in the expansion. Um, at some point, maybe Powell will have to kind of, you know, forcibly snap the market's attention in a different direction. But to, right now, I think the Fed enjoys the luxury of kind of waiting, seeing, and, uh, and letting things evolve. To me, disinflation... And especially when we got that on November 14th, the CPI report, confidence in the disinflation trend means good economic news can be good economic news. And that's where we are until further notice, unless we see some stickiness in inflation. Yeah, Dryden, I mean, the way that I took this jobs report this morning, and correct me where I'm wrong here, it's like we're driving on a flat road now. And uh, as Mike was saying, if you break... That's a good thing. If you accelerate, you're not necessarily going to uh, lose control of the vehicle. But do you feel like that is where we are? Or were there enough danger signals in the number here to suggest that the Fed might have to do something if the market's assuming it won't? Well, I think the, the point is, is we're going to switch to this regime where good news is good news. And that I think the Fed does engineer the soft landing. And as they do that, you're going to see, the, the from a market standpoint, you're going to see uh, earnings continue to grow. You're going to see some more stabilization. You'll probably see uh, small caps do well. So I think the, the point of the matter is, is everybody's been thinking that the Fed got it wrong. And this may be one of those cases where they've got it right. So we get we get this moment where they do stick the soft landing. Uh, and I think that that's going to be really good for the markets in 2024 and 2025.